fellow Amazonians, um, I'm speaking to you from Cape Town. And I'm sitting here with the command team of Cape Town to assure our people that in every struggle, in every resistance, there are ups and downs. In the past 24 hours, the struggle seems to be following a chaotic pathway. But that is how it looks in the perspective of those who watch it from the social media. I have arrived here 48 hours ago, and with all the comrades from Johannesburg to Cape Town, we have been laying the groundwork on how we are going to defend our homeland and to make sure we restore our independence and give a place for our people to build their lives and live in peace. In every struggle, there is a revolutionary curve. There are ups and there are downs. And in our own struggle at this particular moment, with the schisms within the certain uh, movements, I want to call on the individuals concerned to make sure they resolve these differences in the background. We have put together a comprehensive package for our liberation. And I want to call on our people to fund the block by block resistance. For those who believe that litigation is going to take us one step forward, you have to also fund it. Together, these approaches will culminate in a pathway that will lead to the restoration of the statehood of Ambazonia. And I also want to call on all of our people across the world to be responsible in their actions, responsible in what they circulate in the social media, as not to dampen the spirit of those who are fighting the regime in our homeland. This is a time for unity. This is not the time for the feuds that have divided different struggles to be made public in the social media. This is the time for our people in their different spheres of life to come together. Because at this particular moment that we have shown La Republic that we can defy them in our homeland, we should strengthen our capabilities. We should be able to come together in areas that can strengthen one group and strengthen the other group to make sure we hasten the day for our freedom. It's going to be difficult, as I told you in a couple of months ago. But the unity that was shown in Brussels, the meeting we held in London, and the meetings we held in Johannesburg yesterday, and that, that will take place in Cape Town today, should show our people that our people are coming together on a common platform. And I know our compatriots are meeting in Lagos to build a common platform that should share ideas and move this struggle forward. I want to assure you once again, our stance is for the total restoration of the independence of Ambazonia. The aspect of federation is not even on the table. We will not federate with a state that has battleized our people, kidnapped and raped our girls. We will not federate with a state that has no respect for our own dignity, that has exploited our resources to torture and kidnap our own compatriots and detain them in their own prisons. This is a time for us to be free, to assert our, our rights to live as a people independent from Cameroon. And with the block-by-block block approach, I can assure you that we are moving closer to that day. God bless you all. That the spirit that has awakened from the dusty streets of Mutangana to the islands of Bamenda will not be squashed by the brutality of Cameroon, the complicity of the United Nations, and the utter silence of the United Kingdom. That we will fight block by block, never hook by never hook, until the day, as the last speaker said, we will be able to install a government in Boya. We stand like valiant soldiers to lay our lives to ensure that their blood wasn't spilled in vain. That yes. they die in vain. Yes. That the mothers who scream for their daughters, the fathers who are unsure where their kids are detained, wouldn't mourn in vain. I have come here as a soldier of the revolution. Yeah. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes a duty. The people of West Cameroon have a duty to resist the oppression. 